So we're going to go over how to create a load velocity profile for your athletes here. So I just have it on Excel. So here's my little data set. So basically, let's just say we're using the back squat as an exercise for our example. So we have back squat up here in column A, and then we have the one rep max at 405 right underneath back squat. Okay. So if you want to create a load velocity profile, you're going to have to do a few sets um, at different loads and you're going to have to record the velocity for all of those sets. Okay, it doesn't matter if you record the highest velocity or the average velocity as long as you're consistent with uh, which one you choose to record. So for this athlete, we'll just say their one rep max is 405. Okay, so that means a per, uh, percentage of 60% is 243. In practical terms, we probably would just use 240 or 245. 65% would be 263, but in practical terms, again, probably 260 or 265. And then you can just follow that trend down. So 85% would be 345, 80%, 325, and so on. So let's just say this athlete performed his uh performed a set of three at 60% and his velocity was 0.92 meters per second. We can see that right there. And then his next set was uh, 65 percent he performed that at 0.8 meters per second 0.7 meters per second at 75 percent and so on so now we have this data set okay what you're going to do is you're going to plug all the data in then you're going to highlight velocity and percentage or load it doesn't matter you're going to highlight that whole thing you're going to go up to insert up here click on recommended charts or charts depending on what version of excel you have and we're gonna choose an XY scatter plot. Okay. So once you plug that in, now you should be able to look at all of the dots on this graph and they should line up exactly as how they're represented on the left here. So this this Y axis on the left, we got 0.1 at the bottom all the way up to 0.9. Let's fix that and go to format axis. And let's just make the maximum at one instead of 0.9. So now up here, this one represents 100% of the one rep max. Down here at the bottom, point one represents 10% of the one rep max, okay? So we're looking at this dot right here. We have um, 0.35 representing the velocity and 0.85 representing the percentage. And that does match up with what we have over here. Let's just check one more. So we have 0.41 representing velocity and 0.8 representing the load of the percentage, which is what we have over here. So it does match up just like we wanted. So from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to right click on any of those blue dots. Then you're gonna select add trend line and we want it to be a linear trend line. You can see the trend line shows up in the graph. And then not only do we want that, but we want to display the equation on the chart. You can see it pops up. And then we want to display the R squared value on the chart. And you can see that also pops up. And we'll just move it up here just so we can see it a little bit better. We'll X out of this part on the right. Okay, so now we have our Y equals MX plus B equation at the top. This equation um, is supposed to predict something. That's a predicting equation if you guys remember algebra class and like freshman year of high school, whenever you took algebra, y equals mx plus b. Then we have the r squared value. r squared essentially just means um, how well the data matches up with the trend line. So typically you want an r squared value of 0.95 and above. That's going to tell you that about 95% of the data represents what the trend line is showing but we, ours is 0.93. This isn't a real athlete. This is just random fake numbers. So we'll deal with it for the example. So now what we want to do when we want to predict loads and velocities for our athletes for future sets and future training days, we have to use this Y equals MX plus B equation. Okay. So we need to uh, write down what M is and we need to write down what B is. Remember B is the constant Y equals MX plus B. So M is negative 0 0.4045. So we're going to type that in right here. Negative 0 0.4045. B, which is our constant, 
is 0 0.9872, okay? So now we want to write in a column for load or percentage, it doesn't matter, I'll put in percentage. And then velocity for the other column. So we have those in there. Okay, so now we wanna be able to predict what load we should be able to use based on the velocity that we are trying to hit on a specific day. So if we want um, to hit a velocity of 0.3 meters per second, we'll put in 0.3 right here. If we wanna hit a velocity of 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, we'll just put them all right here in this column underneath velocity, okay? So now this is when we have to use the y equals mx plus b equation, okay? So under percentage here, what we're gonna do is we're going to press equals. So this is our y. So y equals m, which is negative 0.4045. y equals m times x times the velocity plus our, our constant, which is b. So let me change that. So y equals m x plus b and that's what we got so we should be able to move 86 percent at 0.3 meters per second okay so now what i'm going to do is we're going to drag it down once we put the dollar signs in to lock this in dollar signs up here Hopefully I'm doing that correctly and it should drag down correctly. And it looks like it does. So let's just call this a percentage. All right, so now it looks like we should be able to move 87% at about 0.3 meters per second, 83% at 0.4 meters per second, 78% at 0.5 meters per second. And you can just drag this all the way down for whatever velocity you wanna hit on a specific day. Now what this is gonna be able to do is this is your predictor equation. So if you know you should be able to hit, like for this example, 74% at 0.6 meters per second. Now you come into the gym one day and you're moving 74% at 0.5 meters per second. Well, that's, a, no, that's the speed you should be able to hit at 78%. Now you know something has either changed or you're overtrained or you have some central fatigue um, you're sore, there's something going on uh, telling you why you're not hitting that 74% at the right speed you want. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this, um, with this equation and with this value. So play around with it. Um, you can get really creative. You can use it for a lot of different things. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, I'd be happy to talk about it.